Hello everyone, I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we're going to learn how to crochet this straight cable afghan square, which you can see my sample one here in front of you. If you are working the make it your way crochet along, this is week three, option B for that crochet along. If this is your first time hearing about the crochet along, be sure to check it out through the link provided in the description of this video. So this is our straight cable square. Uh, it's a gr Straight cables are a great way to kind of get your feet wet when it comes to working cables. They create a very nice, clean texture uh, all on the front of your fabric. So today we're going to be working these. I'm going to be using a worsted weight 100% acrylic yarn. This is the Vanna's Choice by Lion Brand. If you are working this square as I am, you're going to need about 118 yards per square and you're going to make four of these for the Make It Your Way crochet along. You're also going to need a six millimeter or a J10 crochet hook and the finished size of my square is about 10 and a half to 11 inches. So uh, thank you again so much for joining me and while you're here don't forget to subscribe if you've missed any of the other previous week's crochet afghan squares you'll find them all in the make it your way crochet along playlist so you can catch up there and be sure to subscribe hit the notification bell so that uh, you'll be updated when I release more squares and also more free crochet patterns and stitch tutorials this channel is updated every week. Our square today is worked in rows, so we're going to start by making a slip knot and then by working a foundation chain. Today for my foundation chain I'm going to chain a total of 35 stitches. If you need to change the size of your square, you'll need a multiple of 4 stitches plus 3. So today I'm going to chain 35. Once you have your foundation chain worked, you're going to begin row one by working a single crochet into the second chain from your hook and then single crochet in each chain all the way across. At the end of this row you'll have a total of 34 stitches. At the end of row one you're going to chain one and turn your work. For row two, we're simply going to work another row of single crochet stitches. Our chain one does not count as a stitch, so we're going to begin by working a single crochet into that first stitch and then single crochet in each stitch all the way across. At the end of row two, you're going to chain one and turn your work. Now for row three, we're going to work the first of our cable stitches. So what we're going to do to start row three is begin by working a single crochet into each of the first two stitches. Next, you're going to work a front post double crochet around the post of the stitch two rows below, working in front of the next stitch. So begin by yarning over, then find your third stitch two rows below. I have one, two, three. Insert your hook around the post from front through to the back, out through the front again of that next stitch. Yarn over, draw up a loop. Yarn over and pull through two loops and yarn over and pull through two more. That's your front post double crochet. You're going to repeat that around the post of the next stitch two rows below. Yarn over, insert your hook from front through to the back, out through the front again around the post of the next stitch, 
two rows below, yarn over, draw up a loop, yarn over and pull through two loops, yarn over and pull through two more. You now have two front post double crochet stitches. You're then going to work one single crochet in each of the next two stitches. Because you've worked two front post stitches in front of these other two up top, you're skipping those next two stitches that you worked in front of and are working the single crochet in the next stitch and then one more single crochet in the next. We're now going to repeat that. Front post double crochet around the post of the next stitch two rows below. So if you want, from your last front post double crochet, you can count two stitches over and then it's around the post of that next stitch that you're going to work the next front post double crochet. Might help keep them lined up a little bit. So there's one front post double crochet around the post of the next stitch, two rows below. There's two. Then up top, you're going to work a single crochet in each of the next two stitches. Once again, make sure you're skipping the two stitches in behind your front post stitches. You're going to repeat that all the way across. Work one front post double crochet in each of the next two stitches, two rows below, followed by two single crochet stitches all the way across. At the end of row three, you're going to chain one and turn your work. Your cables should all be on the other side now. We're going to work for row four, a row of single crochet stitches to get us back to the beginning. So single crochet in that first stitch and then single crochet in each stitch all the way across. And you're working into the tops of your single crochet stitches and the tops of those front post stitches. So just single crochet in each stitch all the way across. At the end of row four, you're going to chain one and turn your work. Now for row five, we're going to begin by working our single crochet in each of the first two stitches. Next, we're going to work a front post double crochet stitch around each of the next two front post stitches, two rows below. So where before we had to do a little bit of counting to figure out where our stitches went, the rest of the cables are quite easy because you're always working them in around the posts of the front post stitches, two rows below. So yarn over, bring your hook in front and around the post of that first front post double crochet work another front post double crochet and repeat for the next one. You're then going to work a single crochet in each of the next two stitches. You're going to repeat that all the way across. Front post, double crochet around the post of each of the next two front post stitches. and then single crochet in each of the next two stitches. Repeat that all the way across. At the end of row five, you're going to chain one and turn your work and that's it for the repeats for this crochet square. So from here on end, you're going to repeat rows four and five for rows six through to 33. So single crochet your way back, turn your work, and then work your uh, row with the single crochet and front post double crochet cables. This is for rows six through to row 33 simply repeat rows four and five and then meet me back here. 
Once you have worked through to row 33, uh, you're going to want to work one more row of single crochet stitches for row 34. Okay, so you've worked your repeats through to row 33, ended with a cable, you're going to work one more row of single crochet stitches. And then it's up to you, you can either fasten off uh, or you can leave it attached. I had already fastened off, so if you fastened off, you can take your yarn and join it with a slip stitch into your top corner. You're then going to chain one. For our edging around our squares, we're going to work begin to work 34 single crochet stitches all the way across the top. As I've mentioned in other videos for this crochet along, if you need to change the number of stitches that you're working along your edges, that's okay. You'll just simply want to make note of it so that you will have the same number of stitches around each square. Today I'm just going to chain 30, or work 34 single crochet stitches all the way across the top of my square. Once you come all the way across the top of your square working single crochet stitches into the corner you're going to work one more stitch, one more single crochet, and then working along the rough edge of your square you're going to once again evenly work 34 single crochet stitches. All the way down to the next corner and the next corner, work a single crochet, then 34 stitches across the bottom, single crochet in the corner, 34 single crochet stitches along the opposite side, single crochet in the corner, and then join with a slip stitch. I'll show you that when I come around. Once you have worked 34 stitches, single crochet stitches along each edge, one in each corner, you come all the way back around to the first stitch, make sure you work one more in your corner stitch, and then join with a slip stitch into the top of the first stitch. You can then go ahead and fasten off Weave in any ends and block your square if desired. If you're doing the make it your way crochet along, go ahead and start working on your next three cable squares. So thank you so much for joining me again. And uh, again, I invite you to subscribe. If you happen to make any of these squares, be, be sure to share them with me. You can tag Rich Textures Crochet on social media because I do love to come and admire them. So, until next time, happy crocheting. Bye.